What's going on you guys? The Keith Carnes here and happy October. It is October 1st, 2013. Uh, holidays are <laughs> unbelievably already back. Um, but that's a good thing. I love this time of year. October, November, December, best months of the year in my opinion. Anyway guys, um, bring you guys five new Blu-rays. That's right. Bring you guys five new Blu-rays I picked up recently and just wanted to give you guys a Blu-ray update. I always do it when I at least get five or more Blu-rays, usually. So let's go ahead and kick it off. Uh, just picked this one up last night. This is the other guys on Blu-ray. Um, comes with the uh, the theatrical and extended. You actually get nine extra minutes on the extended, and the extended scenes are pretty funny. From uh, if I'm not mistaken on what they are, haven't really seen this movie since it came out of theaters, so I'm not a hundred percent sure on what it comes with. But see, you got a nice background picture in, in the back. In the back, it's got like the wooden gun stuff. Very funny movie. Was just watching it this morning. Love, love, love that movie. Uh, next up is, I guess you could kind of call it like more of a more recent cult classic, so to speak. It's got a very big following, and understandably so. The Crow with the late Brandon Lee, who actually died while making this movie. Um, therefore, obviously, it was uh, his last movie. And as you see here, we have a uh, digital copy, which I'll never use, and of course, the Blu-ray itself. Actually transferred over to Blu-ray pretty well, not, not as uh, bad as I thought it was going to look. They did pretty well putting that over to HD. Next up is the 2009 movie Notorious about the Notorious B.I.G. Uh, looks pretty good on Blu-ray as expected. Um, not really too much to say about this. I watched it on Blu-ray. It looked really good. Great movie about Biggie Smalls' life. A life taken um, too soon. Very great musical artist. I love most of his music. So, uh, great movie if you're a fan. Looks good on Blu-ray. Definitely worth picking up. Uh, next up is <laughs> a personal favorite of mine. It's not, it's not by any means a favorite movie, so to speak. But it is definitely a movie I highly, highly enjoy because I'm, I'm a Star Wars nerd as well. And of course I'm talking about none other than Fanboys. The movie that pretty much stands for what most Star Wars fans stand for. This, this movie takes place um, before the release of Episode 1 back in 1999. And uh, it's just, it's a really good, fun adventure movie about Star Wars nerds gearing up for a new Star Wars since the, what, 1983 or something like that? And last, and of course not least, is a rather more unknown movie. It's called Wonderlust. Uh, this actually has uh, both Paul Rudd and Jennifer Aniston, pretty big actors, especially uh, Aniston being probably the biggest actress in the whole movie out of everybody. Um, pretty good movie, really dirty but it, it is really good it's a fun movie to watch but definitely by yourself I don't suggest watching this um, unless you're comfortable watching kind of perverted stuff <laughs> with family but yeah it's a it's a very adult movie but it's it's really really funny had me and my father just laughing so hard that we were in tears so I highly recommend it so that's about it guys just wanted to bring a quick blu-ray update to you guys um, yeah, that's about it. And on the side note, fucking thanks a lot for nothing, Rockstar, as Grand Theft Auto V Online was a complete fail today. Today was the launch of Grand Theft Auto Online. I went to play GTA Online, obviously, for the first time. After creating my person, I couldn't do anything other than create my person. So uh, thanks a lot for fucking that up, Rockstar. Anyway, guys, that's about it. This is Keith Carnes, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.